This week, I'd like to take a second to congratulate Michael Phelps. He has just been given an award for the greatest Olympic athlete of all times. I was reading some stuff about him, and I found out something interesting, or something I didn't know. Phelps has a superstitious routine. He always wears headphones, takes them off before each race, he swings his arms three times, and steps up on the block, and he's ready to go. It seemed to work well for Phelps. This week, I am going to use a little bit of superstition, but I'm also going to keep my strategy. So in case you don't know what it is, here you go. Every week, we scratch a $10 scratch ticket. If we win under $100, we reinvest that money back into more tickets. If I win $100 or more, I buy something that I either need or something that I want. And I won't stop until I win the lottery. This week, I'm scratching three $5,000 a week for life tickets. And I'm going to use three different superstitions from three different Facebook friends. Because they say good things come in three. So first up is Missy, and her superstition is to scratch the bottom row first. Nice. Missy's a winner and keeps our streak alive. Let's go to our next one. The next person is Joe, who says that we need to scratch the winning numbers first and then scratch the rest of the numbers. And he tells me that 90% of the time, it's 20% effective. Let's see how it pans out. like you won't be hitting the podium. The last superstition is Scott, and his is pretty simple. All you gotta do is spit before you stop. So, let's do it. Winning streak continues. Every week we've won. Now we just need to find out who is going to get the gold medal winner for this week for this superstition, Missy or Scott. The results are in, Missy. You get gold. Scott comes in silver. And Joe, by default, my friend, you are the bronze medal winner. And this is the first week we've had more than one ticket win. And we'll be back next week with four tickets. Before I go, I want to remind you to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check out scratchitowin.com, um, and I guess that's it. Maybe next week I'll use a 1976 quarter instead of this penny. Till then, good luck.